Hi everyone, I'm Tony Mori, and I'm visiting HDV Wines. I'm excited to find out about another new winery. Let's visit together. Situated in the Oak Knoll region of Napa, HDV stands for Hyde and de Villain. The name is based on a family relationship. Mr. Hyde, a Napa Valley wine grower, and Pamela, the wife of Domaine de la Romane Conti co-owner, Aubert de Villain, are cousins. The vineyards are in Carneros, and the wine is produced in Oak Knoll using gravity flow. We have with us today Stéphane Vivier, the French winemaker of HDV Wines. HDV Wines is a family venture between the Hyde family of Carneros and their cousin from Burgundy, the De Vilaine. It's a very young winery, but with a lot, lot of history. Hyde Vineyards was created in 1979 by Larry Hyde and is located in, in Carneros. So Carneros is a southern tip of Napa Valley and Hyde Vineyards is on the eastern edge of the Carneros region. The definition of the vineyards is very cold, very cool climate vineyards. So we make wine with a lot of elegance, with good acidity, pairing very, very well with food. That's for Hyde Vineyards in Carneros. And DV stands for De Vilaine, Hyde and De Vilaine. The De Vilaine family have been making wine in Burgundy for 200 years. Aubert de Vilaine is the co-director of Domaine de la Romane Conti, a very famous winery in Burgundy. And the Hyde and de Vilaine are cousins. Aubert de Vilaine's wife, Pamela de Vilaine, is Larry Hyde's cousin. So we are a nine years old winery created in 2000 with about 400 years of combined history, 200 years history in Burgundy and 200 years history here in California. What is the most important for us at HDV Hyde de Vilaine is to put in your glass a picture of our vineyards. The true winemaker is the vineyards. So as a winemaker, I spend most of my time in the vineyards trying to fine tune, trying to do, taking care of every single detail in the vineyards so that in your glass, you're testing a piece of the vineyards. And as a winemaker, I'm doing as little as possible here at the winery, trying to respect the food the best we can. And we want to make wine for the table. So this is very important for us that the wine keep a lot of good acidity and minerality so that it pairs with a very wide array of food. So that the, the, the wine really is a part of an experience. And so that you can enjoy it the wine with your best friends, your family members, around a good table um, of food. Today we will test two wines, our 2007 HDV Chardonnay and our 2005 HDV Belle Cousine. It's a blend of Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. Our 2007 HDV Chardonnay is a blend of our two oldest vineyards at Hyde Vineyards. The vineyards are between 28 and 30 years old. It's a very Burgundian take of California vineyards. At Hyde Vineyards, our, our soil are very shallow and we keep a lot of minerality and acid in the wine. So this wine has a great intensity, complexity, but a backbone of acid, make it very, very long and very complex. It aged for about 12 months in oak, French oak, and then three months in stainless steel. A great pairing with this wine will be uh, seafood, scallops, lobster, but also sea bass, monkfish, salmon, also Italian food, chicken dish, pasta dish, will go very, very well with uh, uh, this Chardonnay. A great Chardonnay, very complex, very intense for special occasion. Our 2005 HDV Belle Cousine is a blend of 80% Merlot and 20% Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a very elegant, very feminine style of uh, Bordeaux style wine. It will pair very, very well with um, all the red meat, stew. It has a great blend, a great mix of black, black fruit, red fruit, but also spice. 
So blueberry, blackberry, but also red pepper, cinnamon will blend together in this wine. It's very, very complex, very intense, but has very, very soft tannins, very elegant. It will pair very, very well for a main dish. Steak, stew, venison, game, duck, lamb, paired with a very wide array of food. Welcome to HDV Wines, Hyde and De Vilaine. We are located in Napa. We opened by appointment and you are all welcome to come visit us. How did you like HDV Wines? I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.